Alright, so guys, finally, this is the last FR before FR Echoes. Honestly, I'm pretty excited for FR Echoes because there are new combos to test out. And yeah, looking forward to that. So Kuja, FR is the final FR. And sadly, it's not the best FR or a really good one even compared to previous few FR that we get. So yeah. I do think that a lot of people will actually skip him, including myself, but I will definitely do a showcase uh, using my alternate account, so um, at least we have that. Okay, so Kuja's FR is only 50% for party and 70% when Kuja himself takes a turn and using a skill, obviously. So um, in terms of HP damage limit up, it's only 10%. I do not understand why he received 10% when we have characters that get 50% um, Yes, even though he have a BT unlike the other character who get 50% like Anna Cross or Aranya They do not have a BT, but even with Kuja's BT, it's just a total of 30% HP damage limit up So to me that is really lackluster my ex well they don't even add in that 10% and give him additional 10% HP damage bonus that would probably be better so anyway uh, for recommendation I do still think that Kuja does hit pretty hard 7 HP dumps on his LD full damage on all enemies um, and he has 4 users of it right now so I would suggest to bring Luna Freya to give him 4 consecutive turns so you can just hog all the 9 FR turns with Kuja and finally passing the last turn to another character and use a really huge attack something like a Cyan call or if you have any other attacks that is really huge then it's worth using it at the last attack in addition that when you set it up this way you can enter summon and also deal a huge chunk of damage so how to set this up, first we have Kuja using FR, so that that after Luna, Freya provides him 4 consecutive turns, the first turn you use Kuja's FR, then you use Kuja BT finisher, uh, and that's the first turn of FR, so you have 9 turns left, then you enter Kuja's BT phase, and that takes up another 7 turn. Okay, so now you have 2 turns left, and since Kuja enter on the 3rd turn, he should still have 1 buff remaining uh one quick prayer buff remaining so meaning after the f after his bt phase it will still be his turn and he can use his ld so effectively taking a total of nine turns um during the fr phase and with the final fr turn so assuming that if you have another character so now it's the other character's turn and then you can enter summon then you can use the last attack um, if the character really hits hard you can just use one of the attack or else you can just use Cyan call and end the fr phase so in terms of hp damage bonus so if you start with kuja's fr then the bt finisher that's 73 percent then you enter kuja's bt phase where s1 s2 78 percent then ex ld ld to recover back s1 s2 then you can use s2 again then FR and finally BT finisher. So with that total HP damage bonus is up to 848%, which is not too bad, I guess. So that's that. So as for Kuja's evaluation, I, I mean, I would really want to say that he's bad, but if you look into his entire kit, he still does hit pretty hard and his kit mostly is either full AOE HP dumps or like S1, he has Splash. Okay, so Splash 80% and with some HP damage up, it is technically 100%. So he will deal full AOE HP damage on S1, S2, EX, and LD. So just in comparison, if you take a character like Renoa, so um, with Renoa's BT effect, when she used her HP+, plus, um she deals 9 hp dump but is split damage so when it is split damage you will notice that against three enemy renoa will hardly cap on her damage unless there is an extreme high hp damage up 
um, that is in play. So Kuja doesn't really need that. Okay, so it is easy for him to fulfill uh, the HP damage cap because he deals full damage. All right. So in that situation, Kuja is actually still pretty good given that his LD seven HP dump against three enemy. That's twenty one HP dump full damage. Right. But the question here is. How often do we really get a fight that has three targets? Okay, so and in Echo's era, like after you use the main FR, so let's say you have Kuja using the main FR, then you have your other characters using Echoes. But since Kuja um, FR is only 50% plus 20% from Echoes, that's only 70%. So that is also really lackluster and you probably won't even want to use it in Echo's era. So to me, that is his problem. Okay, so his kit is actually still okay. It's just that it is not good enough for the next era. I mean, his FR is not good enough for the next era. So for his base kit score, I also give him a 2.5. Um, definitely, we have much better options against most of the fight which has two enemies. So anyway, um, I personally will not be pulling for Kuja, but if you have his kit, like if you have it green, um, it is not a waste to invest into his FR and use it. With the fight that we have, I would say that he is still relevant. You can still use him as a main to clear a lot of fight since most of the fight now is pretty easy. So don't worry about it. If you like him, max him out.